Okay. Adventures in Second Life. Yes, I have a lot of fond memories of playing in Second Life, and it's good to know it's still around. I've decided that I have a little, oh, I say decided, but I have a little inspiration to do uh, a few videos showing what it's like in Second Life. And so the subject of this one, this will be this is the second, is to um, res uh, one of my aircraft and actually take off from an airport and hopefully land. It could completely fail. So this is the login screen. I'm using the Singularity Viewer, Second Life Linden Lab. Um, are so cool because it's all open source and uh, there was a heyday didn't really take off but it's still alive and well apparently <laughs> but that's part of why I'm making these videos so let's get to it and move along a little faster pace here we'll maybe come back to this opening screen to explore some of this stuff uh, this is basically um, a page generated by Second Life inside of this viewer which is like a web browser and it's just showing a lot of cool stuff that you can go visit and explore. Um, you see up here on the screen, there's like 42 slides here of stuff. There's seven, eight pages of these. You click one of these, you can see some of the, some of the stuff that's going on here. So there's a lot of uh, things still happening in Second Life. Let's get to it. Log in. I'm going to go in, and this may, uh, this is repetitive, so I probably won't show it in a lot of the adventures in Second Life, but series <laughs> that we're doing. But here we go. Loading the world. Yes, indeed. This is my neighborhood. I'm actually a paying subscriber to Second Life. This is my guy. This is Infrared Wind. And, uh, yeah. Short shorts, long beard, long hair, pipe, Buddhist cool t-shirt, lace thongs. Yeah, a lot of the stuff I made. And uh, the little house is a shack. It was, it's on the property where I first lived. Anyhow, let's get to this. First of all, we'll get back to this sometime. <laughs> first thing we want to do is we want to go to Hollywood which is a sim. We use that in the map here, this world map. And then this is the airport here. And if we zoom out a little bit, those green dots, those are people. Um, mostly humans. Could be a few bots, but mostly humans. Now this right now is in the wee hours in the States where most of the players are, so this would be early morning there. So let's kind of zoom in here and um, what we want it. Our mission here is to um, go down onto this sim, res, which means to you know pull from your inventory and have it um, appear inside of, of the virtual reality, which is a 2D virtual reality, and then uh, fly it. We can see here there are two strips here. This is the takeoff, which is in the east, and the landing is in the west. This is the way they designed it. This sim is privately owned, and again, you know, it's people that uh, just users that create all of this stuff, except for the actual parcel itself. So we click on teleport, and off we go. And now, um, well, actually, I teleported to Hollywood, which is next door. That's okay. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, look who greets us here. That's pretty cool. That's Maryland. And actually, that's a Maryland of, um, of a Second Life character. Of course, she's just a cutout, but <laughs> very good. And they even have the backside. Excellent. 
Okay, well, we want to go flying, so let... Now, one of the things that's cool in Second Life is you can fly yourself. Yeah, get up high enough. There we go. Take a little gander around. And stuff res us in, you know. I, have a, I don't have a really a game playing computer, so for me the stuff is comes in chunkily. There we go. There we can see the two strips. We can see a um, appears to be some sort of fighter jet that is resing in. That means it's coming in clearer and clearer as as the things load. So we're just going to drop down over here near these hangars. Now things may go crazy um, where you get stuck and uh, because of just kind of the the funkiness of Second Life. It's funky. But it's a lot more sophisticated than stuff <laughs> than when I was playing like green screens, Pong, stuff like that, right? Wow, that's really a beautiful jet. Probably somebody that knows something about aircraft would know exactly what that is because it's probably a an exact replica of something. I'm ignorant of such to some degree. Okay, so inventory. Go in here, and I've got it. I got things sorted out, kind of nice. Of course, spend a little time keeping things similarly organized. Drop into vehicles, aircraft, and I've got my DC-3 Skytrain. And that's what we want to fly. Now, this uh, particular craft is one I bought for, I don't know, it might have been $5 US or something. And uh, But it comes with I mean, it's you can edit it as well. So I did a lot of work with the graphics. It's a lot of fun using Photoshop and stuff, using transparent textures. Anybody knows 3D modeling and stuff and game making. It's part of the the job, and it's for me. It's like I really love that part. It's a really a lot of fun. I spend a lot of time doing that stuff. Now this craft, as most do, have a HUD. That's a heads-up display, and this is like a piece of code. Um, that allows you to control the, the programming is built into the plane. And so we need to wear that. That's what they say. So we, you know, we're going to put that on to our, our avatar guy. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Now, because I'm a builder and stuff, I know a lot of building tools and where the plane is where it revs is kind of not really a good place. So what I can do is by you know, I can edit this guy and use some of the basic geometry editing tools. And now again, the mission here is just take off. If we can just do that, that'll be the uh, the success of this video. So there's my lovely uh, uh, DC-3, and it is a beauty indeed. Um, I've got it all. TWA, T, hello, <laughs> TWA livery, and so now in Second Life we just need to right-click on it and then say fly. And now I am inside the craft, and the camera has switched around to the back to facilitate flying the thing. And it's primitive Pete, I'll tell you. This, this is all extremely primitive Pete. None of these controls are real; they're just looks. All the controls are in the keyboard. Some things like, you know, on, on some things that people make, you know, if you turn, these things will turn. It's just, it's not really anything you actually, you know, engage with the mouse or anything. Okay, so, next thing up before takeoff here is take a quick visual check. And we have our HUD down here below, and you can see these things, and we just need to start our engines. So here we go. Engine number one. We'll be lagging the sound, too. Engine two.
like to let things kind of load up. You can see up here on the upper right hand corner here, you can see there's some bars there that show what's going on. You can see that red bar, it means the network is trying to load the assets of what you're seeing. Okay, well, I think if we can take off, that'll be the, uh, the mission of this particular video. So, off we go. Let's, let's go out there. I don't see anybody jockeying for the, the space. There. So we're going out there. We can kind of use the camera to see what's going on a little bit. From the back, I can see fine. The interesting thing is each one of these squares that we saw on the map are what are called a sim, and it's really run from a, a computer. You know, imagine a rack of computers in a rack, and each rack is one of those square runs one of those squares. And um, I hear somebody right behind me, so I'm going to take off right away. Except I'm going to stop for a minute. Let's see if this guy is going to push me. Let's see if he pushes me. I will just. I have an evasive action. Now he's being polite. Good. So I'm going to go ahead and take off here. And this is really uh, <laughs> difficult in Second Life. Right, made it into the the neighboring sim. If you survive that, then you're you'll be all right for a while. So there we are, man. We got uh, got some air, and we're gonna back off on the speed. It's crossed into another sim, which you can see up in the upper right there. A little mini map. But each one of these squares, you can see the line. When you hit those, you're you're going into another server, and it's just they try to transfer. Or they do. They transfer your assets of everything you have. And let's bring up the gears. Ooh, I'm crossing through. <laughs> there you go. I hit a corner there and just aced out. That's what happens sometimes. <laughs> so I'm just going to detach that and uh, let's see. Can I go home? I, I want to go home. I feel I feel sad about that um, <laughs> calamity. <laughs> oh, I may not be able to get back home. Um, yeah, that could have crashed my session, so to speak. So there you go. Wasn't that fun? We actually got in the air. Till the next one, um, Adventures in Second Life, with various equipment and so forth various vehicles. Those will be the first things.